It's summer and things are growing in Somerville. Gardens are blooming, farmers' markets are booming, and residents are moving. Not just from place to place, but also into new homes and out of old ones. See, it's not just green things that are cropping up everywhere. New developments are coming into the city and changing the balance of our Somerville ecosystem. In Somerville, invasive plants like black swallowwort, Japanese knotweed, and water chestnuts often crowd out the other plants that lived there before. Now some people are also feeling crowded by new development. You went and talked to a local gardener and some residents to talk about the ways we can keep our ecosystem balanced in Somerville, both in our gardens and in our larger community. So when I started working at the farmer's market, and I didn't know America has this kind of program, and um, I was like s excited to do my own, f grow my own food. And um, my background is my grandparents were farmers, so I knew how to grow, and I love to grow. That's why. Gardening is important because if they can grow their food, they're healthy and it's fun. It's um, when I come to the garden, my mind is fresh. I think everyone should do that. I live in Somerville more, almost seven years, since 2010. So. Somerville, um, I work with the city of Somerville uh, with food system and I see they have, like since I started working with them uh, with the food system, it's um, improving a lot. We didn't have uh, like food truck, now we have new food truck, we have a lot of equipment, we have like better employees and um, a lot of Im improvement for my side, but other side I heard uh, in Somerville is doing great. Um, it's improving, that's why people want to live here and it's expensive and growing so much more. Every garden and community needs balance. We need all parts of our ecosystem to work together as we grow. When one type of plant or type of development takes over, it can make it hard for others to thrive. So I'm Christina, I'm 26. I grew up in Somerville. I actually grew up in the Mystic Projects right now, right over here. And I go to Boston University and I'm a master in social work intern here at the Welcome Project. It's definitely changed a lot. Um, I actually was just talking to another colleague of mine about how it's changed. A lot of like the corner stores I used to go to as a child have turned into a lot of vegan go green restaurants. Even just the type of people that walk around in the streets, it used to be really diverse. There used to be a lot of families. Now you see like a lot of younger, probably college students or even graduate students that are walking around. The whole atmosphere has really changed. Even the obviously the property value has gone up in Somerville especially since Assembly Row has been here. A lot of the rent has gone up significantly. Just stuff like that. Well, that's why we also have inclusionary zoning where we try to make a certain percentage cheaper. So like you only pay, I think 20% of all like housing has to be affordable. So I think we have to kind of keep going for that because a lot of people are moving out because they can no longer afford to live here. So it's just about keeping that balance of affordable housing and affordable rent is really what's the key to this. I, I can never raise my kids here even if I wanted to because I can't afford it. And I've lived in Somerville my whole life. So somebody who understands the community, understands the diversity, can't live in the city because it's way too expensive. I am Amy. I work at Sushi Ibi uh, restaurant. I have been working here for almost two years. Yeah, I, I like Somerville. You know, like it's a very nice area. Yeah, and people around here are friendly. <laughs> I saw that over there, there is a new building. But I think it's great, you know, because there is some coffee shop around here. Mm -hmm. And right now, they develop a the streets out there is very great because uh, uh, last year, yeah, it's hard, you know, to make a U-turn. Right now, they make like a, yeah, you can make a U-turn. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, my friend live here. Yeah. So <laughs> the renting is a little bit expensive. Once Cambridge got rid of rent control, let's see, 
uh, everything started spilling over to Somerville, although gentrification was obvious even 50, 60 years ago because I studied urban development. But the people who were loyal to the old style politicians are the same ones that are getting kicked out because they can't afford to live here. I mean, it looks pretty, but uh, people lived here a long time of being all, almost non-existent. That is, I can walk down the street now and I probably know more people who used to live here. Uh, you know, and they're all gone. Where they had a subway, which was more affordable. It's now a liquor store. We need that like a hole in the head, of course. Uh, so I'm not, I, 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 I have mixed, mixed views on it, to put it mildly. Some people see new development as a good thing, but how much is too much? This week, we've learned that there are all different opinions. Some people think all the new development is a good thing, and some people think it's a bad thing.